Hello, my name is QJ. Welcome to my channel. Where I open the Patrick the Gathering boosters for fun and profit. And uh, today is uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. And uh, yeah, I have not have a chance to open one of these for myself. So I'm pretty looking forward to this. Uh, opened one for customers yesterday, and it was uh, it was a very nice box. Um, it was a shared box, but everyone had something awesome. So I'm hoping that um, I can open something equally as nice for myself. And uh, yeah, let's go. Just get right to it. I mentioned it in a previous stream, but oh gosh, this box design looks amazing. It's so perfect. This is just absolutely perfect box design. So one of the biggest um, comments, most frequently heard comments so far that I've heard is that how underwhelming the set feels like um, after coming in from Modern Horizons 2, but you know, it's kind of to be expected. It's totally two different things. But geez, the box design. It's, it's a standard set. It's a D and D team set, and uh, yeah, totally different, two different things. And uh, but as far as Dungeons and Dragons go, as a small time fan, I think they've done a pretty great job uh, with this set, which uh, it's making me quite excited to be cracking my own box of collector boosters. Includes 10 traditional foil cards and contain these cards, including a combination of 5 cards of rarity, rare, and higher. And uh, 4 mythic borderless planeswalkers and 4% of boosters. <laughs> oh, here we go. First pack. I'm gonna take my time with this box crack. This is box break. Um, and enjoy the cards because I've been so busy with the pre-release and the release that I I haven't really had the time to actually enjoy the cards and the art and everything and taking the set out and it's entirely. I've played a bit of draft on Arena, but that's just about it. So I only seen a handful of cards in action. Dueling Raper. Uh, helped me finish quite a few games very quickly. So the permanent plus two plus zero as long as I can keep clearing blockers. The four to equip is very steep, but um yeah, pretty much I think it's very much a limited card, not so much for constructed. Circle of the Moon Dread. As long as it's your turn, <laughs> it's a four two. <laughs> Defensive on your opponent's turn, aggressive on your own turn. I like it. Evolving Wows. Uh, Indonesian artist, Mohamed Firdaus. Very cool. Very cool art. Baleful Beholder. So we have four commons foil. Black being able to destroy and challenge just feels weird, doesn't it? But yeah, this is one card that can just end games in, in sealed or draft. Because giving your creatures menace sometimes just means your opponent won't be able to finish, won't be able to block. Hello, hello, Mavdeck. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you don't mind. Um, I'm just gonna take my time and enjoy this box. 50 feet of rope. Mm. Okay, Wokan block this turn. Target creature can't untap. Venture into the dungeon. It's a very good mana sink for limited play or for dungeon decks. The fact that you can pay put mana into venturing is pretty cool. Um, I've been told that the draft and sealed play is kind of grindy for this uh, for this format. So having mana mana sinks like this is very important. For you to be able to grind out uh, long-term advantages over the game, 
constructor play, I guess I don't see this being particularly useful. Dungeon somewhat feels underpowered at the moment. Until someone really makes a very efficient dungeon deck, I don't really see dungeon as a mechanic being a constructed mechanic. Um, it's D and D, yeah, it is D and D. But uh, for constructed play, for a uh, flavor, for you know, a, a dungeon team deck, I think this would be a pretty important piece uh, in your deck for the venturing part. Temple of the Dragon Queen. It's funny how um, those who are not really into uh, Forgotten Realms lore are very surprised at the fact that Tiamat is a she <laughs> and that they find out through this card. I'm just tickled by it. The fact that you know Tiamat is a, a Dragon Queen and all. <laughs> um don't think it's particularly great because you can only make one specific color and that you need dragons you, the fact that you can make you, if you have dragons you can make it untapped is kind of nice but you know at the end of the day it's just one color of your choice not particularly not a particularly useful card even if you are looking for mana fixing for your dragon deck I kind of feel like constructed you have so much more better options Unless you're trying to build a D and D set, um, uh, a Forgotten Realms only set, block constructed, uh, then you kind of need this. Otherwise, there's just so many better options for your uh, mana fixing. Right, the foil, flavor text, basic lens, something that Mark Rosewater said they'll never do, but uh, it's magic. Has shown us never say never. We'll just do it one <laughs> at, one, at some point. When it becomes acceptable, it will be done. All right, my first foil rare is a for Swan Paladin. One mana, one one human knight. I guess you can still make knight decks in from Eldrain with the Eldrain centric knight bonuses. Pay one life, create a treasure token, plus two plus zero against death touch. Uh, it's not that great, but you know, one mana, one one human knight relevant. It's a relevant uh, what you call those? So much. It's a very relevant creature type. Uh, who knows? It might be. It, it might get some value, but seems unlikely at the moment next card is um, I think commander diviners portent row d20 and add the number of cards in your hand all right okay um basically blue sun zenith blue sun zenith with potential upside but you can't shuffle back in I guess if Blue Sun Zenith is playable, this should be as well. Hmm. Yeah. Who knows? If you're ever looking for Blue Sun Zenith number two, this is or Blue Sun Zenith replacement. I guess this is a perfect card for it. Extended Art Flump is in my next rare slot. Defender flying whenever it's dealt damage you and target opponent each draw card. Yeah. I guess you can play some sort of diplomacy based uh, sort of like a it's an okay wall defending just to keep keep people off you or you know to help people who might need the extra cards. I guess it could be fun. I can see certain commander decks actually wanting this, I guess. Genie wins here. Uh, so I think we get two showcase common uncommons here. I'm hoping to get um, Evolving Wilds from this slot. The purple cover Evolving Wilds, that would be nice to have. So yeah, common or commons. 
can be either a common or uncommon showcase. So you have a purple worm. Cost two less if a creature died this turn. I I have I just I just straight up lose to this card because it's just how big it is. It's insane. Jellyfish tribal. Is there even enough cards to make jellyfish tribal? Alright, um my showcase rare slot is a uh, Lair of the Hydra. <laughs> I liked it. No evolving wild so far, unfortunately. But uh I th I think this is a pretty good land. The fact that it's you can come into play untap, it's very small. I've I've mentioned in the previous stream, but I feel like the opportunity cost is low. Purple worm, green background. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's a cool card to have. So we definitely will get a foil showcase. Um, I think common on commons first, and then uh, this last one is a spicy slot. It can be anything, and I got a eye of it now. Extended art foil. Yeah, there is no edge foil for this uh, product. Not in this set. No edge foils. I of Vecna, 2 mana. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card and lose 2 life. You may pay 2 if you do draw a card and lose 2 life. <sighs> Kinda painful. Like you have to pay mana and life. It's not just 1 mana or 1 life, it's 2 mana and 2 life. Hmm, I don't know. I guess the fact that it replaces itself is kind of nice. Yeah, hard to say. All right. Uh, hope you aren't too bored for with me taking my own sweet time like this. Just wanna really enjoy the set. I finally found some um, free time in between waiting for customers to arrive to pick up some stuff. I have some time to uh, enjoy the set, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the set. 1 mana, 0 for defender, 5 mana, adventure into the dungeon. Yep. Um, mana sync for limited play, all for your dungeoning deck. Hill Giant Hood Gorger, 6 mana, 7 6. And does better feel gain through life. Eh. Yeah, that's the thing though, like if you want to draw cards right, if you want to draw cards, there's just so many it's just so many better options to draw cards rather than trying to rely on Eye of Uh yeah. Two mana though, two mana and two life. Mimic. Sacrifice mimic. Add one mana of any color. Comes a tree tree. Uh the fact that you have to sacrifice it to get mana is a uh, mm. Basin Dwarf. Ooh, Dice Rolling Deck will love this. I think it's pretty strong. Put a team deck, just roll a lot of dice. Just keep stealing damage to every opponent. Two mana, you can assemble Wagner. Yeah, I think if anything, if any reason to play this is the fact that you are trying to, you know, get Wagner out. Um, if you're trying to play with uh, the Book of uh, Wild Darkness, fly. Until the creature gets flying and when it's damage to damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Three class, nice. Whenever a land enter the battlefield, you gain one life. You may play additional land each of your turn. Comes a level three target land you control become a creature with haste and its power and toughness equals the low that lands you control. Right, so you get to animate the land. Because a pretty big card. Life gain, I guess this would go very nice into those uh, green white life gain decks. Venturing beneath the desert sands, you've discovered an alien power, pausing with inconceivable energy. Hmm. Forgotten realms, man. Alright, foil rare. Another black rare. <laughs> Gelatinous cube. So according to Wizards uh, Twitter, the taste of the jelly is minty. 
um, some additional information for you. <laughs> if you ever wondered what does this jelly taste like, it's mint. Engulf when enters the battlefield, exile target non ooze creature until opponent until this and leaves the battlefield. Put target creature with mana X exile with the cube into its owner's graveyard. Huh. Very flavorful. Very very flavorful. Assemble Wagner gets exiled. Oh sad. That happens. Wait. What's the next slot? Eh? Right, Commander. Extract Brain. Target opponent chooses X cards from their hand. Those cards you may cast a spell. Oh wow. Okay, wow. Hmm. Sour apple taste, thank you. <laughs> hmm. This feels strong. This feels very strong and uh, oof, it's a creepy art. Werewolf pack leader. Get your werewolf pack leader before Innistrad. If Innistrad um, really pushes werewolves over the top, this might be something that you might want. For those of you who are werewolf fans. When you attack with 6 or more, draw a card. At the end of turn becomes a fire tree, trample and isn't a human. Hmm. Pixie guide. Um, the showcase common and commons. Kaleen. Popular card. Create a treasure. If you spend treasure on them, get plus one plus one counters for each treasure. Cool. Oswald Peter Bender is in my showcase slot. Sort of tinker effects. I think it's always quite powerful. Because you get to get to tutor out something good. Uh Foy Common Uncommon Showcase, I believe. Yep. The Foy uh, Uncommon Iron Golem. And my last slot, the spicy slot is a showcase. Ooh, nice. Showcase Drizzard. It's been quite a few fans of the the foiling effect on this. I'm kinda I'm kinda on the fence on this. I'm not too sure if I like it or I hate it. Not feeling too strongly either direction. Artifact port indeed. 5 mana 3-3, three, three. you get a 4-1. Trample, 4-1 green cat, double strike. Whenever a creature dies, if it has power greater than Drizzt, put the number of plus one plus one counters on Drizzt equals to the difference. Very powerful card. Very kind of flavorful, I like it. And a treasure and angel token. Back. Fairy Dragon Foil Ranger's Hawk Tap another creature to venture into the dungeon. Kinda expensive. I I, I tried playing with this and uh, black white dungeon deck, it just feels too slow. You have to tap a creature, you have to tap three mana. Very very slow. You may put a land from your hand to into the battlefield. Powerful ramp. Since it's a permanent ramp every turn. Great axe. Oh, this finished off a lot of games for me. Even if the equip cost is 5, it becomes a very, very strong mana sink at the end of the game. Just turn any of your creatures to a threat. Like any 1 1 is also a 5 uh, 6 1 threat. Pretty strong, the Great Axe. For limited play, constructor play, I don't see it happening. Return one creature card from your graveyard to your hand, venture into the dungeon. Yeah, limited. Lightfoot Rogue, if you are playing the dice rolling deck. Getting... Uh, dice rolling every turn seems nice. There you go, you wanted purple colored. <laughs> Math deck, you wanted a purple colored, purple worm. You gotta find a regular version. 
It is very much purple. Trace the tensions in the ten towns to the dwindling reindeer populations about what has been hunting them. Ah, oh, such a nice prompt. Starting an adventure. Alright, what's in my rare slot? It's a uh, frog hemoth. Pretty disappointing so far, my um, rare slot pal. Uh, Trample Haze, deal combat to a player, exile that many tile cards from the graveyard, pass on pass on counter for each creature card this way, you gain one life. 4-4 uh, Trample Haze can end games, I guess. 4-4 four, four, Trample Haze that has... Uh, that can grow. Hmm. Lorcan, Warlock, Collector, 7 mana, 6-6. Six, six. When a creature card is put into a graveyard, from anywhere, you may pay life because there's mana value if you do. Ooh, you gain control of it and it becomes a warlock. If a warlock control, you would die. Uh, if a warlock you control die, exile instead. Alright. Very, very much a commander card here. Pay life to gain control. Seems strong. It feels strong. Warpo Sword. Another win the game card, or rather, make a player lose the game. Eight mana though. The fact that that just one, one to cast two to equip is kind of nice. Very small commitment required. So uh, two common and common showcase first. No hunter when attacks. You have 6 or greater, put a person on so it kind of grows. Manticore, very much a limited card, just to break through those uh, defenders or high toughness creatures. In fact, there's a 2-1 flyer, does help a lot. My showcase slot is a uh, cave for the Force Dragon. You know, all the cover lens, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan, don't mind these at all, I think they're not expensive anymore, but uh, I don't mind having more of these. Oh wow, okay, foil, <laughs> foil evolving walls cover, sweet, oh wow, look at the, <laughs> look at the purple foiling, jeez, alright, this is uh, this is definitely unique. <laughs> this is very very unique. <laughs> and uh, last slot is the spice slot. And oh nice. Another foil module showcase. So foil lair for foil evolving valves in the same pack. Oh, don't mind. Yeah, they, they, it's uh, definitely, I would say, controversial. Right, it's not, it's not too far fetched to say that these are controversial showcase cards, but the people who love them do love them very much. And foiling with this sort of colored borders is very, very striking and very unique. But yeah, nice. No mythics yet, huh? I don't think I've opened any mythic at all. More life gain uh, payoffs. 3 mana, 3, 2, and then just keep growing if you have life gain. Celestial Unicorn. Very aggressive life gain payoff. Come to a river. Uh, definitely just a, a limited effect. Or draft and sealed. Uh, this is also a draft and sealed card, I guess. 6 mana to minus 11, minus 11. Why 11 though? I do wonder. Unexpected windfall. Additional cost. Discard a card. Draw 2 cards and create 2 treasure. 
fact that you can get extra mana out of it is, um, does give it a bit of a constructed potential because uh, uh, you know, it's basically just a ramp spell but from 4 mana you can go to up to 6 and if you play a land for that turn you have 7 mana available to you on turn 5 if you didn't ramp if you like turn 1 learn what else Turn two more ram, you know, it's just even more mana access uh, available for you even earlier. Wandering Troubadour, four two. Ooh, uh, this is a very effective uh, dungeon card because you just need to play land. Just need to play land, and you get to trigger a venture every turn. Barrowin of Clan Undur enters the battlefield. Venture. If you completed a dungeon, return a card. Whenever it attacks, 3 mana or less. Pretty good, I guess. Uh, dungeon payoff. It's monsters from the underdark of Rampage across the world above. You've delved deep underground to determine what has driven them upward. It is indeed uh, quite a nice adventure prompt. Fighter class in my foil rare slot. It's an equipment tutor for 2 mana. And then you can pay 3 mana to make a quick cost cheaper. Whenever a creature attacks, you can force something to block. The fact that it's 2 mana tutor is already pretty good, right? Oh hey, it's the <laughs> turn your creature into a 10 10. But you need to pay 10 to equip. <laughs> um, yeah. Still a very nice equipment, I guess. Loyal Warhound. The new White Orchid. 3 1 Vigilance. Enter the battlefield. If your opponent has more lands, you get to search for planes and put it into play tap. White Mana Ramp. Celestial Unicorn again. Showcase this time. Goblin Javanir. Whenever it becomes blocked, deals 1 damage to the creature blocking it. Showcase a uh, rare slot. Treasure Vault. Ooh. I'm getting a lot of um, showcase land covers. So, very much a co module cover box, it seems like. Okay, we have another one here Treasure Vault. Ramp with a lot of treasure tokens. Foil showcase common. Wow, uh, I'm guessing this adult gold dragon. Yeah, the borderless adult gold dragon, so striking because of the blue background. Flying lifeling haste, four three, four five mana. Not exciting, I feel. Not particularly exciting. So for five mana, you know, when you're competing with uh, so many powerful dragons these days. Not quite there. The fact that it has lifeling and haste, though. Eh, who knows? Unexpected windfall. Never been to try it. You get to ramp, but you have to pay three mana over. Uh, you can pay three, one and two mana to ramp. Just a forest, though. You hear something on watch. Yeah, it's for draft and suit play, I'm sure. Spike Pit Trap. Feels very much like a draft or suit card as well. So, 5 mana, 6 mana, definitely, almost, almost definitely kill a creature. 5 damage. Red Dragon, 6 mana. The borderless ones are really cool, I haven't opened any yet. But they look the borderless uh, series of these dragons. If you didn't know, they made borderless versions of uncommons. I believe for the first time. Actually, maybe not. Uh, MH2, they did make uncommon borderless, but they upshift it to rare. Just to reflect the rarity. And these ones, they maintain an uncommon, and you, you do see them quite often. But uh, don't feel like they're particularly strong for constructed. This is kind of nice, I guess. Red Dragon, four damage to each opponent can end games. But yeah, the borderless ones looks amazing. Ray of Frost, just blue removal. 
mountain. Point slot. Still haven't seen any mythic. Are you gonna be a mythic? Nope. As Modius. Draw seven cards. Six mana, six six. If you draw a card, exile the top card of your library instead. Pay three to draw seven cards. That means if you if you use this ability, most likely they are not gonna be. I guess you can activate the ability and then if you kill Asmodeus or you blink it away, you will draw that 7. Hmm. There are ways I guess. Return all cards exile with Asmodeus, the Arcfiend to the owner's hand and you lose that much life. <laughs> uh, you can you, you can do tricks. Huh? You can do some tricks with this. Blink it, kill it, ignore it, phase it out, pay 3. Activate the draw 7 cards and then face it out or something like that. Can be fun. Face Deed is my commander rare. Whenever it attacks, yeah, another creature you get indestructible. Another creature becomes target, yeah, you may draw a card. Hmm, seems just fine. Another Frog Hemoth. Pixie Guide. Owlbear. Delina showcase. Um, have seen some very crazy clips with uh, the last ability just going over and over and over again. Feels like a Lightning Angel, pretty much. Lightning Angel is, I think, what, 4 mana? 4 mana, 3, 4. I don't think Lightning Angel has lifelink though. I might be wrong. Uh, the Delina is foil showcase, common, out there. Hana, Zalto. Fire Giant Duke. Still no mythics. Where are the mythics? Where well, dealt damage, venture into the dungeon. 5 mana, 7 tree trample. And the foil dungeon here. But, uh, moving on. Hey, look. It's a boo token. Awesome. Such a beautiful token. Hexblade. One of treasure treasures, you draw a card and you lose one life. Two mana, two two. Silk and draft card. This one might have some constructed use, I guess. It's a cleric. You get to destroy enchantment. It's very versatile. Bar the gate. Counter target. Creature of Face Walker spell. Then venture into the dungeon. Zombie Ogre, 3 5. Creature died, Venture. Interpret. Outlander. Attack with total 6 or more, Venture. Mm -hmm. Barbarian class for those dice rolling decks. You get to roll 2 dice and ignore the lower row. And whenever you roll dice as level 2, you get to plus 2 plus 0 to a creature and you get it men uh, menace. All level 3 give everyone haste. Cool. Island. As your ship clears the edge of Waterdeep Harbor, you notice pirate sails on the horizon. What has made them so bold? Oh, there we go. Finally, a foil. Mythic Zaryl. Regular foil Zaryl here. Choose control plus one plus zero and haste, or make a one one devil, or minus six at the end of your first combat phase. At your turn, untap target creature you control after that is an additional combat phase. Oh, that means you every turn you get an extra combat phase. Cool, for just minus six. Not hard at all, right? Doesn't seem hard to get. Arcane Endeavor. Roll two d8s. Choose one result. Draw cards equals to the result. Then you may cast an instant or sorcery with mana value less or equal to the other result. <laughs> seven mana though. Seems powerful, but seven mana. Target creature artifact becomes a copy of another artifact or creature. True polymorph. Six mana instant clone. Do a lot of fun stuff with that. There we go. Just talking about this. 
borderless red dragon. It looks amazing, especially the foil one. The foil one looks even more amazing. Um, my showcase slot is where is very efficient venturing card. If dungeon venturing becomes a, a legit mechanic, I think this will be one of the cards that will be part of it. Foy Mimic. And my spicy slot is uh, Warpo Blade. Warpo Sword. Warpo Sword Extended Art Foil. Uh, it's a bit disappointing to get because um, I already have a bunch of the buy a box promo ones, so not something exciting to be getting from this slot unfortunately Ooh, Gwenwa uh, so I got Gwenwa and I got Boo tokens and these are not something that I'll be selling because <laughs> these two are <laughs> these two are great Excuse me. these two are great tokens that I'm definitely going to be keeping in my collection uh, four five watery, eh? Boots of speed. Now this has uh, some constructed value. Healing creature haste for just one mana. Hmm. Repeatable. Pain death. Nice trick. Sionostigia. Green dragon. There we go. Fire regular framed green dragon never enter the battlefield until end of turn whenever creature opponents is dealt damage destroyed eccentric apprentice island alarmed by the news you brought the stone giant king of the maelstrom has called his kin to council uh, legendary varus no instrument of the bards beginning of your upkeep you may put a harmony counter Pay four, search for a creature card with mana value equals in the number of how many counters. Reveal it, put it in your hand. If it's legendary, create a treasure token. It's like a very weak version of very very weak version of Hidden Wow. Hey Amos, what's up? Uh, wanna predict something nice for me to open? I've only opened one mythic only so far. Kind of sad. The one and only mythic that I've opened. I've more than half the box gone already. Give me a nice, uh, give me something nice to uh, predict. Predict that I'll open something nice for me, please. And uh, not an exciting card on this instrument of the bots. Vengeful ancestor, four mana, three four. A goat a creature. Whenever goat a creature attacks, do a leech and buku. Alright, let's see. Demi Leech will be nice, yes. I <laughs> got a Asmodeus instead. Extended art. Uh, two showcase comma and commons first. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. Grandmaster of Flowers in my showcase lot. Uh, take it. It looks cool. It's Bahamut after all. It has seven or more loyalty counters. It becomes seven seven dragon god. It becomes Baham Bahamut. Flying and indestructible. Plus one creature without first strike, double strike, or vigilance can't attack. Uh, target search your card for a monk of the open hand. Review it and put it in your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's more use again. Uh, yeah, EA foil Tiamat would be nice. I haven't seen any Tiamat at all. And uh, it's not gonna be this one. Oh no, it's a uh, common first. The foil showcase first. And it looks like a module card for my land. For my rare slot is a Hall of Storm Giants. This is very much a module box. Very, very much a module box here. Because like um, so many module lands, we have the foil. These are the two foil module lands. 
we have the evolving walls module foil as well and you have these module parts so yeah it's been a very module full box so far still no Tiamat no Buku no Demi Leech uh, would be very nice I would really do hope to get a Demi Leech actually I've been getting a lot of nice tokens I guess Modern Kynan Emblem that's cool Devour Intellect <laughs> creepy card Minimus Containment Interesting removal turning your opponent creature into a treasure token Vampire Spawn if your opponent lose 2 life and you gain 2 life Goblin Javelin it's a very cool card the art 1 mana 1 mana haste Skullport Merchant Aberrant Mind Sorcerer Swamp no. Oswald Fiddlebender is my foil Hellish Rebuke 3 mana and your end of turn permanence your opponent control gains whenever this permanent deals damage to a player who casts <laughs> So if you're attacking me with a bunch of uh, creatures, I can make you basically lose them. But I have to take the damage first. Uh, I don't know. Feels odd. Deck of many things. Finally another mythic. After the Grandmaster of Flowers. Roll a d20 and subtract a number in your hand. If the result is 0 or less, discard your hand. Ouch. Uh, return a card at random. Or draw 2 cards. Or if you crit, put a creature card with any graveyard into the battle under your control. If the creature dies, the owner loses the game. Hmm. <laughs> Do showcase common commons first. Come on, where is that Tiamat? Is it a Tiamat? Nope. It's an Ebon Death. Alright, there's a double Mythic pack here. Ebon Death, really cool. Very cool, borderless version. 4 mana, 5 to flash. Enters the battlefield tap, flying. You can cast from your graveyard if a creature not named Ebon Death died this turn. I think I feel it's pretty strong. Hawking Bob Bear. Uncommon showcase. Come on, Tiamat. Nope, it's not a Tiamat, it is a Spear of Annihilation. Yeah, wrong Lich. It's a Draco Lich instead. Instead, we are looking for the uh, Demi Lich. Nope. Four packs left. Air Cult Elemental Armory Veteran Hot Robber Plummet That's my alarm Reminding me that it's already 8.30 So I have some auctions to check on later after this You find some prisoners if you play that card, you can spend mana as well as mana to play. Huh. Might be good. Of all the model cards, this, this, that actually feels like something that has a constructed value. Blue Dragon. Island. Foil slot is a Guardian of Faith. <laughs> yeah, look at that foiling. That rainbow. <laughs> I can't I can't get enough of this. This is just that rainbow effect is just <laughs> Grim Hiling, alright. Someone was asking for this card. Perfect. Yeah. Where is that Tiamat? Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Shadow creature minus X minus X, return X 
in haste. Arborea Pegasus. Mimic foil. I mean non-foil. Drizzit again. Hello. RGB more RGB. <laughs> uh is this a showcase foil? Uh showcase foil comma common first. And then uh, this will be the slot for Tiamat to show up. Come on. Nope, it's a showcase green varus. No Tiamat still. Ugh. Three packs left. Didn't think about it being RGB until you mention it. <laughs> it is very much an RGB effect, isn't it? Price of loyalty. Shambling Gust. Devil's Torch. Boots of Speed. Grim Wanderer, two mana fight three, conditional but yeah. Split the party, never. Right, land, foil treasure ward, Karazika the Eye Tyrant, five mana five five, and you attack a player target to feature your control and gold it. When your opponent attacks another one of your opponents, you and the attacking player each draw a card to lose one life. Attack, attack, attack! Treasure chest. Mimic. Gretchen. Zon in my showcase slot. And uh, looks very colorful. <laughs> Wrong leech. Wrong leech. Um, I guess I'm not complaining though. Wow. Uh, looks amazing. Looks really dang amazing. Standard art foil. Ebon Death. Draco leech. Not the leech we're looking for, but. Not complaining. Still waiting for that Tiamat. Where are you, Tiamat? Ranger's longbow. Plundering barbarian. Zombie ogre. Soul knife spy. Better cry goblin. Demogorgon's clutches. Foil Swamp. Where is the clutch? Loyal Warhound. And my rare slot. Wing Boots. A quick creature is flying and ward 4. Wow. Quick one. Flame Skull. Yeah, it's a long le wrong leech again. <laughs> Evolving walls. More cover cuts. More cover cuts. Okay, so double. So the two showcase common and commons is uh, double modules. <laughs> cool. Nadar. Showcase in uh, showcase slot. Foil showcase uncommon. And it's another module, another treasure vault, um, foil module this time. So that's the third foil module. Very much a module box I have um, opened. No leech. All right, last pack. Time to wrap this up with my last pack of the box. Well, Amos. Prediction finally not come true in one of my box breaks. Sad. Hop Goblin Captain. Priest of Ancient Lore. Clever Conjurer. Green Bounty. Cloister Gargoyle. 
critical hit. Swamp. And my last foil regular rare slot is a true polymorph. Commander card is Feviate uh, Suspicion. She won't exile cards from the top of the library until they exile a non land card. You may cast any number of spells from those non land cards without paying their mana cost. Rebound! <sighs> 8 mana though. Seems powerful, but 8 mana. Ugh. Hmm. Spear of Annihilation. No hunter and a green dragon. No. Uh. Westgate region is not the clutch we're looking for. Alright. Last, last slot. Let's go. Very last one. Uh, regular showcase dragon turtle foil is not the clutch we are looking for and that is it for this box ah feels i don't know what to feel yeah we do have some really cool cards a bunch of borderless not that many extended art huh a uh, four foil showcase. Three modules. Uh, borderless foil adult gold dragon. And four extended art. No, I guess. No, this is like this is borderless. This is a borderless version, so two borderless. Cards. Three. Yeah, definitely does feel that way, huh? I have no idea about these. I'm not sure if um, these anything of them is particularly. Wait, this is not supposed to be here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep. No idea if any of these are worth much. Haven't been paying attention. Yeah, a lot of Draco Leech instead. <laughs> no Demi Leech, no Tiamat. I still haven't seen a single Tiamat. Jeez. Flame Skull, Mythic, Deck of Many Things. Otherwise, Extended Art slot is kind of disappointing as well. Foil side, treasure ward foil, garden of faith. Zario is nice, I guess. Showcase slot have um, three. Modules, two borderless. The rest are just uh, the monster manual styles cards. Not too exciting, not too bad. Four evolving walls in my foil common common showcase. A bunch of random showcase cards. The three, two really cool looking waters, uncommon dragons. But the rest are the monster manual style common and commons. And the uh, rest are the basics and common and commons. And that's it for this box. Thank you very much for joining me in uh, exploring this dungeon of uh, this treasure chest actually i guess of uh collector booster i hope you enjoyed watching uh me crack some packs and um i guess that's it for me today uh please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what 
I've done and if you want to know what uh, I will be doing in the future I have some very interesting box breaks coming up uh, I have a Modern Horizons 1 box and a War of the Spark Japanese box to be cracked on stream sometime soon hopefully and uh, if you like to watch those please make sure that you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I go live or when I schedule a live and I uh, hope to see you at those future streams and uh, yeah until then take care of yourself take care of the people around you stay safe and uh, hope to see you next time goodbye